Jed, congratulations. What a night that was at the Hawthorns. You guys must be buzzing after that performance. Yeah, it was great. Um, yeah, I think back to the atmosphere when I first joined uh, Watford at home sort of started last season and it was felt like a proper game and electric atmosphere and I, f I felt like that tonight. I think probably one of the best atmospheres I played in here and um, we started great on the front foot and, and the crowd responded to that and um, yes, it's a great place to play football uh, when it's like it is tonight and I think everyone from the fans to the players and the staff felt very united and I think you could see that in our performance. Is that your favourite performance since you've been here and favourite result perhaps? Yeah, it was up there. There's, there's, yeah, there's been a lot, especially recently, actually. Uh, obviously, you had the way obviously Preston, the top of the league, went there 1-4-0. Um, but them, them gritty wins like that, um, they mean a lot. And we put a lot of work in, as everyone knows. Um, Ipswich deserve a lot of credit for the start they've had. They've got a great manager. Um, they've done an amazing start. Um, but we've got a top manager as well, and I think you saw that today, the way we were set up. And we worked really hard at the training ground, as everyone knows. And um, when it comes off like that, it means more... Um, to, to us all, to be honest, because um, we, we put a lot of effort in and the fans can see that. I think the fans are buying into what we're trying to do um, under the manager and it's exciting times at the moment. Was there any hurt or disappointment in that performance that had been left over from the Southampton game? Um, no, in a, in a weird way, like I kind of took a lot of confidence from that game and I think probably in the game we went there a little bit like all oh, playing Southampton and what a good side they are and the names they've got and stuff and after 25 minutes I think we realised as a group of players that, oh, hang on a minute, actually... We're, we're as good as these and, and on the day we probably deserve saying out of the game at least a draw um, and we took a lot of confidence from that and I think you saw that tonight. Um, we know our, our record here under the manager has been first class um, and teams will know that coming here is not easy and we wanted to impact the game and focus on ourselves and we've done that. Um, like I say, full credit to it, they're a really good team, they had a great start. But I think uh, people are starting to see that we're a good team as well and a great performance, so uh, on to the next one. Said the same to Carlos, two very different goals tonight, but it shows that we can mix it up and that we can break as quickly as we did and score all different type of goals. Yeah, I think the set plays is probably one part of things we've been a little bit disappointed with, um, especially sort of the, we had so much joy last year, uh, set plays not so much this year and we've we've worked hard. Um, Dami, uh, one of the first team coaches, watches probably spent the whole international break watching corners um, and free kicks and throw-ins and with Hef as well. And um, for them guys, it's, it's great the hours they put in for us to execute one. It was a great ball from Matty and Darnell. Attacked it so well. Um, great goal. And then obviously the second one, we've got pace in the team. And I think you saw that there. Um, great little touch from Brandon and Grady's finish was took an age to go in. Then it sort of waiting, waiting, waiting. And then finally hit the post and went in. And it was a good time to score. I think settled us down in the second half. And then, to be honest, felt really comfortable. Probably could have nicked another one or two goals. Just looking ahead, it's such a busy fixture list, Jed, isn't it? We've got some really challenging looking games but are you going into it with a real belief and confidence that we, that we can stay in and around the playoffs and maybe even go a little bit further and maybe close down the top two we've got the likes of Sunderland to come Middlesbrough Norwich Leeds Cardiff Leicester next weekend you know some really big games there are you excited as players to test yourself against those top teams yeah that's the reason you come to this club uh, certainly the championship you want to be playing in them big games but I've been in the championship long enough to know that Probably, to be honest, QPR and Sheffield Wednesday at home, probably two of the harder games we've had this season, and they're the bottom two. So we know how difficult it is, as you've seen with, with Rotherham taking a point off Ipswich and a point off Leeds last night. You know the championship is tough, um, probably suits us sometimes playing against the better teams when the game's a bit more open, uh, as you saw certainly against Hull and, and today, uh, and a Southampton game. So we, we know every game is in championship. I know it's a bit boring to say, but it's literally 50-50. Um, fine moment here or there, and we, we certainly managed the moments well today, and that's why we got the win, but... It means nothing now. We need to go to Cardiff, um, enjoy it tonight. Back in the training ground tomorrow, um, recovery. Um, we analyse the game with Carlos and then we move on to, to Cardiff on Monday and, and look forward to, to playing them Tuesday.